Morning guys, early start, let's crack on with the garage. Right, time to start painting this bad boy. Let's go. Well, I've got to say, that stuff from that Regal Paints is absolutely unbelievable. That's, a, that's one coat with no under, undercoat at all. They said you literally just paint it directly onto chipboard. It should dry matte finish, but it's like a, it looks black in this video, but it's actually like a really dark slate grey. Um, that's like all the brown wooden treated posts, not even undercoat on it, just literally straight on. It's brilliant. It's going to save me so much time on these walls. And you see it a bit more in that light. It's like a dark slate grey, so... All of these walls are going to have stuff on anyway. This is just literally so all around the edges. You ain't going to see, but all of this in here is going to go white or something because that's all the merchandise that's nice and bright in there. Run some LEDs underneath. But yeah, that is going to be absolutely red. I'm really, really happy how this place has gone the last week. It's, uh, it's really come on fast. So once all the walls are nice colour, it's going to be badass. Right, I'll carry on more later. Hello guys, so as you can see it's night time again and we're still in the garage. <laughs> oh, it's like a never ending project this, it really is. Um, we've mapped out the area of wall where the Hot Wheels packet's going. We've started to paint the, the grey as all around. So that's pretty much done the painting on the top half. Um, I've just started laying out the framework for all the banners to hang, so you won't see it, but up there is basically hooks which go along the top and i've got like some almost like curtain pole but like 25 mil steel pole which can go all the way along that's where all the banners are going to hang and that will carry it on to this wall up to there um and then i've got all my banners and stuff going up so yeah there's still lots of painting to do um i went a little bit dark on the color it was meant to be like a like a, a dark gray but it's almost black um it's, it's not a bluey black sort of color but it should look red once the floors are bright red so yeah, it should, it should look pretty cool. This is going white, obviously. Um, I've got a load of banners going in there. That's where the tire storage is. But yeah, we are, we are getting there. The, the roof looks even more shit now. It's, uh, <laughs> now the walls are black. The roof looks freaking terrible. So I might, I don't want to do it, but I might have to get a little scissor lift, a little cherry picker up and paint all this roof because I don't want it looking like that. Um, I might just do it like a bright white or like a mid grey, something like that, just to get rid of all the, the mould stains and that. But yeah, we are here. We're, we're pretty much there. Oh, over and out. Just looking, I painted all the grey underneath and that. I've still got obviously the front of the desk to go on. Started putting up some real red banners. Made these up as well. Let's go on the wall, just on things so that it's like the G works. So it's so dark in here. And printed bold. Six of them, they're really cool. Then tomorrow I'll get all my banners up along there, all the hanging banners will go all along there. Should look pretty red. Hello guys, how's it going? Um, as you can see, massive changes have happened. Painting, banners have gone up. We are pretty much getting there. And my thing that I've been most looking forward to since having a garage, Japanese banners, they are about to go up on there, so I'll give you a bit more of a video as soon as I've done them.
Right, so day whatever it might be, I don't know what day garage is, it's all rolling into one at the moment, but front's come, SSR mesh, need a good paint up and that, they're a bit gross, need the rims, like the edges doing and stuff, but yeah, that's that's ready to go on the laurel, pretty much. Had this, uh, picked this up yesterday, which is a new Vertex, I don't know if I'm gonna, either gonna sell it, do a raffle with it, or uh, put it in the laurel, but I shall, show you, it is pretty sick, two sets, ooh, saucy, yeah, awesome, I think that'll look good in the C33 if I'm honest, pretty cool, yeah, right, outside I'll show you the progress so far, so, we have made massive, massive movements. Oh yeah, it's getting there. Getting there slowly. Just started to pin up the mountains of Hot Wheels. Uh, sore fingers, sore fingers are coming. Uh, pinning, pinning every single one up is a bloody nightmare, but I love my Hot Wheels and it's going to look incredible. Um, but yeah, we are really, really coming on. I'm going to try and get the floor painted today. Got obviously the huge Hot Wheels pack again up there that's ready to come in next week. Looking red. So, red is the colour I'm going for. It should be nice bright red in the sun. Um, I didn't have money to do the proper flooring so I'll just paint it and if it needs repainting I'll paint it again. <laughs> she won't be happy if you get paint on them shoes. It's gonna look good, mate. It's gonna look really good. Alright. <laughs> socks um i've got a bit of red paint kind of everywhere <laughs> all right enough there <laughs> okay so the second coat of floor paint is now down looking really really good actually um this one excuse me this one i put down proper thick so yeah it's a really nice i don't know if you can pick it up on this camera but it's a really nice like post box red I've done the walls here because the plan is this back section here if you notice I haven't done the floor there but from this point here I'm going to have a black stripe which comes here and then I'm going to do a full Advan livery on the floor which would be absolutely incredible as I trip over the Advan car <laughs> um, yeah so it's going to look pretty damn cool really coming along really fast I've just got some edging which has got to go around these bits here um, I've got a carpet going along here because I've got a uh, I ordered a freestanding frame for magazines for all the Japanese magazines um, not that you can see it now but obviously the Hot Wheels are kind of up already down there I can't step on the floor um, but yeah we've got a we've got a big sticker stand come in as well so yeah it's all it's all moving on pretty pretty fast more progress when it's done So that's uh, two full coats done on the floor, nice and bright now. And uh, yeah, a couple of days drying and we should be able to get the rest of the logos on the floor. Ready for work. Super happy, super, super happy.
Looks a nut. Right, so we uh, painted up all the inside of these. They're going to go like this champagne goldy colour to match the bottom of the laurel. Should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, really nice colour. I've only done it quickly, to be honest with you. The, the, you know, the wheels get absolutely annihilated. So, just, uh, just had a quick coat, quick coat of lacquer. We should start building back up again in the next couple of days and getting it on. The laurel is going to look absolutely amazing on 15s. I can't wait to get it out. Um, whether it drives amazing, I don't know. It could uh, it could be a case I'll take it on the road and fix sod this and put the 17s back on, but we'll see. <laughs> right, thank you for watching, guys. I'll um, more progress as soon as we're done.